Time as the government nears a full stop. There's no slowdown in the Senate. Topping the agenda right now, a repeal on the ban on gays serving openly in the military and a nuclear disarmament deal with Russia. Joining us now, Tennessee Republican Senator Bob Corker. Senator Corker, you promised to lay down on the railroad tracks to make sure that that omnibus spending bill didn't get through. I guess your act worked, huh? Well, I think it's good for the country that uh, we now will end up with a two or three month uh, spending uh, bill that will take us into February or March and we can begin cutting spending like, like we said we would do. So uh, the effort was successful and, and I think it's a good thing for our country. Well, how do you answer critics who say that yes, even this bill that the president is going to sign this afternoon does increase the deficit? Uh, you're talking about the tax bill? The tax bill, yes. Yeah, yeah. Now we're talking about two different pieces of legislation. Right, I understand, uh, I understand yeah, and I, yeah, I shouldn't yeah, have jumped so, so quickly, but, that, no, but there right, is that criticism right, right. out there. Yeah, there were uh, the the things that were extended were mostly things that were already in the tax code, and it's one of those things that so many of us are upset about, just in the tax code in general. Each year, most Americans uh, I don't think realize this, but in the tax code itself. About $1.2 trillion gets given away for special interest or subsidies or credits. And I think most of us would like to see most of all of those go away and everybody's tax, rate, tax rates be lowered. So one of the things we'll be doing this spring, I think, is not just focusing on lowering spending, but also reforming the tax code so you don't have all of these loopholes. Some of those are things that Americans support, like the, the uh, mortgage deduction on their home. But in total, they add up to a lot of money, and without those, tax rates would be much lower. Are you just saying that it, it takes a lot of time to turn this battleship around? I mean, we just had a representative on from one of the Tea Party movements who is really upset uh, that Republicans, especially in Congress, haven't done more uh, to reduce taxes and cut spending. Well, now we, we did extend, uh, you know, all of the existing tax policy. We reduced uh, the estate tax. Uh, I would say that that's not, uh, that's not the case. And the fact is that we just uh, were able to stop a huge omnibus with 6,000 earmarks in it from becoming law. We're going to end up with a three-month three month extension of existing spending and then take it down. So I actually think without the new Republican Congress that was just elected, we've begun to turn this around and are heading in the right direction. And I'm really thankful to see that and thankful that saner heads prepared, uh, prevailed last night in the U.S. Senate. In, in your uh, first answer, you seemed to suggest that you believe there will be some agreement on this stopgap fund the government uh, bill, sure. that we're not going to be turning out the lights in that building you're no, in tomorrow night at no, midnight. That no, that's not going to happen. Uh, you know, I would say in the next short time there'll be a two or three day extension, and then we'll work on something that extends uh, funding uh, for the next two or three months. But no one should be worried about the lights going off. That will not happen. Senator Bob Corker is a Republican from Tennessee, and I'm sure a very busy man. You got a lot of work to do today. We'll let you get back to it, Senator. Thank, thank you. you.